I'll never forget, we were woken up to some, some loud noises and all the windows in our van had been busted out while my sister was having a sleepover for her birthday. We'd be driving down the street and we'd see kids uh, in the neighborhood um, using our, our roller blades and roller skates and, and, and riding our bikes. And we had never given any of them to any of that to them. And, and so stuff was stolen from our house, our house was shot at, windows busted out, experienced crime and violence. I remember going to sleep with helicopters overhead. And so there's a, there's a saying in North Omaha and it was a saying for my life. Work hard, get an education, and you too can get out of the ghetto. And so for me, basketball was my ticket out. Roughly 29 years ago, my dad was a chemical engineer. Our family lived in the suburbs and had a great job. And he felt uh, compelled to quit his job and to move our family to a place where he could be a part of bringing change. And so he birthed our organization called Abide and uh, started very organic, very grassroots, just with our family. And over the course of 29 years, um, We've seen some of the neighborhoods that the police redlined as the most violent, the most chaotic neighborhoods. We've seen those neighborhoods completely transformed uh, into some of the best neighborhoods in, in our community. And we started uh, just through uh, what we would say just loving and building relationships with our neighbors. We bought some old abandoned houses, fixed them up. Our family moved into one. Uh, we started throwing events where we'd bring the community together and, and, and this, this model of neighborhood, uh, our neighborhood model kind of became a model that we started to take to other neighborhoods uh, throughout the community that were facing some similar challenges. And part of it, sometimes when you step back, you don't understand, I think, all the things that I would say uh, God is putting in position. And so even me going to Creighton and committing at a young age, and, and a relationship was formed probably earlier on than the typical college athlete. Um, and then the values that Creighton holds in community service and, and wanting to really be a part of the local community and, and me coming back and being a part of our organization. And Bruce, Bruce Rasmussen, the athletic director at Creighton and, and Coach McDermott are both huge advocates of, of A, keeping a great relationship with players who have been a part of the program, and then B, wanting to use their influence to make a difference in some way. And so we've just kind of continued the conversation with Creighton. They've invited us into this partnership, so like the blue out that we had with them. They only promote one organization a year. And for the last several years, they've decided to, to promote our organization and create this blue out where people can come and they can give and they can hear about what we're doing and really uh, it's an opportunity for them to get involved. So Creighton I think is a special university. Omaha is a special community where the fans and, and the teams really rally around each other and support each other. And, and I would say that we've just been the beneficiaries of the community and the, and the values that the university upholds.